Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has made the first beta channel inside a build available for 2024, which they rolled out on the 4th of January, which was late yesterday in my part of the world. And this latest beta channel build is 22635.2921. And it rolled out with the latest beta channel update, KB5034212. Now, just as a reminder, if you are in the beta channel, if you do want to get the new features that roll out first, uh, you need to have this, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, turned on. The same applies to the stable version, uh, because if you don't, you just get the enablement package. And if you want to get access to new features uh, that are gradually rolled out, you need to have this turned on. So just take note of that. Now, this is actually a very light or small um, update that's rolled out for the beta channel. But, but although it's a small update, it's actually a significant update. And my reason for saying that is because, as many of you will know, the beta channel uh, is a lot closer to what will ship to the general public. And as I have posted on previously, Microsoft is getting ready to start shipping the Moment 5 feature update, which will bring the fifth wave of new features to Windows 11 version 23H2, which is now the current stable release. And we are expecting Moment 5 to start rolling out as part of the optional bug fix update, either on the 20th or the 27th of February, whenever Microsoft decides to push out that update, which they do normally roll out near the end of every month. And... Because the beta channel is a lot closer to what will actually roll out to the general public, this is a good indication because there are not any new features that Microsoft is focusing on in this build uh, for this week that um, things are starting to settle down now and stabilize for the feature rollout because all we get are general fixes and one input fix. So the general fixes are is the update includes a handful of fixes to improve overall reliability. So that's a good indication that Microsoft is starting to settle down now and starting to focus on Moment 5, where they are now, as mentioned, they are fixing a couple of, um, a handful of fixes that have rolled out to improve the overall reliability of the beta channel for this week. So that means that um, they are focusing on performance, reliability, stability, bugs, and so on. And the other um, fix that's rolled out is they fixed a high-hitting tab tip.exe crash, which was impacting the ability for some Windows insiders to input text. So as mentioned, although there are not and are no new features, this is a very good indication and suggests that Microsoft now is starting to settle down in the beta channel to start focusing now on improving the, rel the uh, reliability of the Moment 5 feature update. And something else to take note of is I have posted a video on the Moment 5 feature update, which is rolling out in February of this year, as mentioned. And it's quite a long video, and I go through a lot of the features that you can expect or could possibly expect to see Microsoft make available with the Moment 5 feature update. So if you would be interested, I'll leave that down below in the description because it will just give you a lot more information if you would like to play catch up. And just on another side note, the Moment 5 feature update, if you don't have this toggle turned on, you will just get the cumulative update rolling out at the end of February, which will just bring the bug fixes. But if you have this toggle turned on and we head to our update history, the same will apply as did apply with the Moment 4 feature update that rolled out last year for Windows 11, which will be be a configuration update. So here we go. So this was the Moment 4 configuration update, KB5030509, which rolled out in my region on the 27th of September. So with Moment 5, the same will apply. We will get another configuration update, which will bring the Moment 5 new features. But as mentioned, if you don't have the toggle turned on, all you will get will be the cumulative update and that will bring the bug fixes, so just take note of that. But nonetheless, Microsoft now starting to get ready um, to push that Moment 5 feature update out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.